What is going on everyone? This is Yanix and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at my GMMK Pro Black Slate build with Akko Macau and Catherine Black Inks V2 switches. We're also going to try this quick modification which you put masking tape on the bottom part of the PCB or for short Tempest Tape Mod and also other modification to make the GMMK Pro even talkier than before. But before that, I wanna give this moment to Bakis PH. Maraming salamat for sending us these awesome and really magnificent artisan keycaps. Bakis is a local artisan keycaps maker here in the Philippines. They got really cool designs that you can choose from. So check out their Facebook page and Instagram for more awesome artisan keycaps. No modifications done yet on the keyboard, but the Gatter and Black Ink V2 switches are lubed with Crytox 205 Grade 0 and filled with desk keys. Now, let's hear how it sounds. So definitely, these GOAT stabilizers doesn't really live up to its name. They sound really awful and needed to be retuned, so that's what I'm gonna do. Once I got the keyboard disassembled, I removed the stabilizers and cleaned the factory lube with some isopropyl alcohol. I put some Hollymons as well, then lube it with Crytox 205 Grade 0, both on the wire and the stabilizer housing. And after installing the stabilizers, we're going to use this GMMK Pro included gasket foam and add two more layers on the stack gasket foam that are currently installed on the bottom plate. But if you have other gasket foam like the KB Defense D65 gasket foam, I recommend you to use that because that gives way better performance than the stack GMMK Pro gasket foam. Adding thickness to the gasket introduces more flexibility into the switch plate, especially with the carbonated plate. Here's how it looks after putting two extra layers of GMMK Pro gasket foam. So when assembling the GMMK Pro, I decided to no longer use the two middle standoffs on the switch plate. And when screwing back the top plate and the bottom plate together, I did not tighten it fully to make the added gasket thickness work as we want it to be and to add that little flex and bounce when typing. As for the Tempest Tape Mod, I put one layer of masking tape but you can also try multiple layers for experiment. So for the sound test, the first sound test is the one without the tape mod, so without further ado, Let's hear how it turns out.
So for the final build and sound test, I'm going to modify and install this PC plate. I cut the standoffs because if you don't, that will negate the gasket foam that we installed earlier. You can also do this to the aluminum plate or the brass plate if you have the proper tools to cut the standoffs. You're also supposed to add gasket foam on the switch plate. But I ran out of gasket foam so I just leave it as it is. So when reassembling the keyboard, the only screws holding the PCB and the plate is the one that is installed on the side LED diffuser. Screwing the back plate as well is the same as last time, not tightening it to the fullest. Now that we're all done, let's hear how it sounds. So for the final thought, I was hoping for more flex and bounce with the mods that I did with the gasket and the PC plate. But since I ran out of gasket foam and the gasket foam isn't really that great, it is what it is for now. But for the talkiness of the keyboard, the mods really made a huge difference on my opinion. I like how it turns out more on the aluminum plate better than the PC plate with the Tempest tape mod. It sounds deeper and talkier. If you made it out to this point, let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below on which sound test you like the most. Now, YouTube tells me that 94% of my viewers are currently not subscribed, so if you hit that like and subscribe nice. button, I will really appreciate it. That should be it. Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next build.